Does wearing a face mask reduce oxygen, and can it increase CO2 levels? Why carbon dioxide toxicity is making headlines right now? Now that we've all been wearing face masks to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus, some people say that wearing a mask is reducing their intake of oxygen or forcing them to breathe in their own carbon dioxide. This leaves them feeling faint, lightheaded, or smothered. They're also concerned about how dangerous this is, and how less oxygen and more carbon dioxide might affect their health. With 100% certainty that excessive wearing of an N95 mask was a contributing factor to the accident. They added that it is certainly possible that some other medical reason could have contributed to the driver passing out. So is it possible that wearing a face mask as part of social distancing can cause someone to build up so much carbon dioxide and get so little oxygen that they pass out, or worse? Carbon dioxide is a natural byproduct of the body's respiration process, something we all breathe in and out every day. How harmful can it be? In rare cases, it can actually be pretty dangerous, according to the National Institutes of Health NIH. They say that inhaling high levels of carbon dioxide CO2, may be life-threatening. Hypercapnia carbon dioxide toxicity, can also cause headache, vertigo, double vision, inability to concentrate, tinnitus, hearing a noise, like a ringing or buzzing, that's not caused by an outside source, seizures, or suffocation due to displacement of air. But the emphasis here should be on high levels. It has to be a pretty high concentration to be capable of causing harm. CO2 is present in the atmosphere at a level of about 0.04%. It is dangerous in an atmosphere when it is greater than about 10%. It's also possible to have too little CO2. This is when you exhale too fast or too often if you hold your breath, you wind up with too much CO2. The core issue is that CO2 regulates the pH of the blood too much CO2 and the blood become too acidic, too little and it becomes too basic, alkaline. In either case, your body detects the change in acidity and you pass out, which is the body's way of saying, please stop fooling with me and breathe normally. When it comes to face masks, we know they're not all made equally. The extent to which a mask could affect CO2 levels depends on what it's made of, and how tightly it fits. If you put a plastic bag over your head and tie it tight around your neck, no coronavirus could get in, but neither could any oxygen and you would suffocate, so we obviously don't recommend that. It's highly unlikely that you would pass out from a lack of oxygen with a cloth mask, which generally doesn't fit tightly to your face. When you exhale or inhale, air can go around the mask as well through the pores in the material. This is why a cloth mask does not absolutely protect you from inhaling the virus, but by disturbing your exhalation flow it tends to protect those around you from aerosols in your breath. It is doubt that any cloth face covering would ever fit against the face so tight that someone would pass out from a lack of oxygen. You'd take it off because it's uncomfortable well before that happens. Someone wearing an N95 mask for a prolonged period of time may have alterations in their blood chemistry that could lead to changes in level of consciousness if severe. But it's most likely to happen to those who are already predisposed to breathing difficulties, such as smoker, obese people, or individuals with COPD or emphysema. Prolonged use of any face mask, including the N95 respirator, has not been shown to cause carbon dioxide toxicity in healthy people. Because breathing is slightly harder with a mask, I do recommend that people who suffer from severe COPD or other lung diseases that make breathing difficult carefully consider the use of face masks. That there's absolutely no need for any member of the general public to be wearing an N95 respirator, which is a type of personal protective equipment PPE, designed to protect health care workers and the patients they care for. It's uncomfortable to wear, and it does restrict your breathing. When we wear one to take care of patients we try to keep it on only for as long as I have to. The bottom line? 
The N95 might be uncomfortable and restrictive to the point where it affects your oxygen and carbon dioxide levels, dot but you really shouldn't be wearing that anyway. As for cloth face coverings, either store-bought or homemade, there's even less of a chance of breathing issues, and it's definitely not an excuse for going out without one. Make sure your mask covers your nose and mouth but feels loose, rather than so tight you really can't breathe. If you continue to feel like your airways are cut off, consider other possible causes, such as a panic attack, which can trigger sudden feelings of suffocation and breathlessness.